Good morning, folks. I'm hoping that the camera stays there because you're propped on my uh, camera bag this morning. Absolutely gorgeous Monday. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and everything's looking good after we received Pub of the Year, Pub of the Year 2019 on the weekend. Yes, very uh, solid achievement. That's that's two years in a row. Steamy wing mirror there. So, today we're gonna go in and we're gonna put some stout and pale ale into casks. I should really concentrate on what I'm doing, shouldn't I? So that's the plan. I'm gonna drive in a work and we'll pick it up from there. Looks like there's a mist hanging in the air because it's uh, it's a nice morning. It's warm, but obviously it was cold last night, and all of the uh, dew, if you like, is evaporating off all the surfaces. It looks fantastic. So we've got to do a little bit of a clean up this morning. Well, very little bit of a clean up actually. We've still got uh, a shelf down there. That section needs tidying up a little touch under the stairs. I mean, if you scan around, it is pretty clean in here, quite frankly. Just a couple of pieces here to get rid of. This uh, steel cabinet needs to be down the bottom. This is a dishwasher for the kitchen, but it's still not been touched since we picked it up uh, from Thorn, so we need to keep that in here until I can work on it to make sure it's operational. Uh, it just needs cleaning up, so I'll put that in the corner over there near the wood stack that we've built. And then I've just got to move this big uh, 1,000 kilogram or 750 kilogram bag of sand. And this is what we're going to use to make the concrete for the dray room next door when we finally get round to it. And then once we've done that, we can pull the cask washer out, start washing casks, and then get this beer out of these tanks ready for a brew day later on in the week. A brew day or three, of course. One, two, three. We'll fill all those tanks up. So we're all tidied up and polished in here, ready to go for bottling day. Bottling day, casking day, what am I like? Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. But first things first, I've got to go over and uh, pick Stuart up. He's just dropped his car rental off. Uh, so I've got to go and pick him back up in the van. Here he is, like. Oh, yes. So, just got a nip into Tool Station and then back to Retford, and we're done.
So that's uh, Brian's retirement beer all casked and ready to be uh, put in the cold room. Hey, uh, We've also got one cast to deliver around to beer heads. They're having some down there. And we had a bit of a damaged chair last night. So uh, I think Froggy put it out the other day. So I put a bit of wood glue in there. Basically this little piece here snapped off. So that should have held by now. Fingers crossed. That ah, looks pretty good. Remember the glue is stronger than the wood itself. So that chair can now go back. Carefully does it. <laughs> can go back into circulation. I will leave it here. Overnight though to cure and set properly. And also me and Stuart have got this to get through. Check this out. So we've got the tiny Rebel 7th birthday collab pack. All these beers. Seven. Oh, I wonder. Yes, I wonder if there's uh, one of each in there. I don't think there is. So we're going to try these one afternoon. Sat up, up at the top. Ah, oh, we're in. That's a good pack, that isn't it? Oh, hello. All oh, right, the big cans. So you got the seven beers and a glass, some tiny rebel pencils. What's that for then? Colours to colour this in. All oh, right, something to keep the kids occupied while we get. A little bit trolleyed. So we've got the Tiny Rebel and Yeasty Boys Belgian Strong Ale. We've got the Tiny Rebel and Magic Rock Citrus Session IPA, that'll be good. Tiny Rebel and Siren Dark Cherry and Chocolate Barley Wine, not my cup of tea. Tiny Rebel and Dea. Dea! That's a nice can. But what kind of beer is it, boys? Oh, any IPA says it just there. Look, New England IPA. We'll just brighten, brighten the camera up a little bit. Oh, we've got a balloon as well. <laughs> Bloody party, isn't it? Tiny Rebel and Big Drop Imperial Mocha Vanilla Shot Stout. No, not really my thing. Neon Raptor, Tiny Rebel Neon Raptor Tropical Sorbet IPA. Now that sounds all right. And then Tiny Rebel and Four Pure, Double Dry Up, Pilsner. No, boring. Don't like the Pilsners. Yeah, well, there we go. If you've never seen one of them, that's what you get in the pack. We've pulled up at Beer Eds to drop off the special beverage for Brian. And then, uh, then I'm going home, folks. Yeah. Well, at least semen samples or something. Well, if you're Siemens powder, mate. I didn't, at first, I didn't know it was powder until I picked it up. <laughs> Milk, lemonade. So that's what it is. It's Gemma's powdered lactate. Bitter cider. It is not bitter. Yes. No, not, you're not bitter. Well, that's what I was going to get. So, I'll show everybody the crack. Just come home. Oh, this is what we've had to take out the, uh, out the home bar. Yes. That was my Christmas gift to myself. It lasted quite a while as well. So uh, now we've taken that out. I have indeed brought home a Cornelius keg of Brian's, uh, what would you call it? Retirement ale, that's what it is. It's Brian's retirement ale. So that will be carbonated in a couple of days. But until that happens, unfortunately, what we're going to have to do is, uh, yeah, have one of them. Not very cool, huh? Uh, no, you're not. I mean, uh, no, no, I'm just saying. 
The ones it. I've not tried yet. No, I was saying, I thought they stopped doing them at Morrison's, but Joan just said they haven't. No, because no. you only got these this weekend, didn't we? Yeah, so... They're the, they're the best ones. I've had the spicy tomato before, That's what I have at home. but what I had the other day was um, Korma, mackerel Korma. It was fantastic. It was really nice, like this stuff, but it was uh, in a Korma sauce. I don't like these ones, though. Thai, are they? No, it's the sardines. So, I do like sardines generally, like this. But these boneless sardines... Oh, it's like eating a piss flap. It's, it is disgusting, honestly. <laughs> Stuart likes the idea. Yeah, you can take them with you, buddy, if you like. All right, thanks. Well, I suppose you're sick of them, aren't you? Mate? You've had it past. I mean, sardines. Not piss flaps. Oh, I'll never suggest that for a moment. Why is there a mirror in the fridge? In the when I cut my hair, I stand there. Anyway, this is uh, too much of an insight. We'll see you tomorrow.